Baruch here with GenConnect.com at the Sundance Film Festival. And I'm joined today by Kyle Henry, who's debuting his brand new short, Foreplay Tampa. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much. Now, I understand you've been here before as a filmmaker, so you're a bit of a Sundance veteran. I am. <laughs> well, t tell me how things have changed a little bit. Has Sundance evolved? Uh, well, uh, I don't know if Sundance evolved, but I have evolved. How? Well, I'm here with a short, which I think is the evolution of cinema, from features to shorts. Um, People have less attention now? I think they have less attention and they need more shocking and dramatic work to wake them up, to you know, give them a little perk for their day. Well, your film's been called a Chaplin-esque gangbang farce, so it sounds pretty perky. I think it is pretty perky, and I think basically you'll never have seen anything like it in your entire life. And yes, Senator Larry Craig was a great inspiration for us. Your muse. Yes, with his wide stance um, uh, stall shenanigans. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of um, slapstick comedy in our gangbang bathroom farce, and uh, um, it's executive produced by Michael Stipe and Jim McKay, and it's part of a series of shorts called Foreplay, and they all deal with extreme, bizarre sexual situations. Now, how are those situations different in Tampa? Uh, well, in Tampa, uh, our, we have a small endowed man who uh, goes to a mall bathroom in Tampa, Florida. I giggle when I talk about my own film. Uh, who, Hopefully uh, others will giggle too. Yeah, I, the idea. It's, it is a comedy, folks. We're not doing a, a movie. This isn't a documentary. It's not a, a plea for <laughs> help, you know, movie of the week. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, he is rejected by pretty much everyone he meets because he's uh, of a small endowment, and um, he eventually hallucinates a whole cavalcade of historical and fictional characters who are hooking up, and he isn't uh, until the very end when he has uh, his personal savior, sort of sexual savior, makes an appearance and redeems him. So we're happy for him in the end. Yeah, I think so. I, he's a lovable guy. He's a kind of Charlie Brown, uh, sad sack character. Imagine if Lucy were, I don't know, mean gay people in a bathroom. <laughs> this would be Makes sense. Yeah, ex we've met. Why some, not? I've met some really mean people before, but there's a lot of nice ones too. Um, that <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm delusional. <laughs> this is what happens with altitude. Watch the film. You'll feel the same thing. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Well, make sure to check out the film here at Sundance, and thank you for joining us. And for more, be sure to check out GenConnect.com.